guys, welcome back to Tazzy Coin Hunter Week in Review. So, might just adjust the slide a little bit. It's been a big week. Big week of 20 cent piece noodling, really. And some 50 cent and some $2 coins to finish it off. I'd like to say thank you to all the people that turned out for my yesterday's um, $2 noodling. Really, really made me feel good. I was like really impressed with how many people were, you know, watching me and participating. It was really good. So, without further ado, let's rip into this. Okay, let's knock some coins up. Let's rip into this uh, week in review. It's going to be a decent one this time. So, okay, Eddie Marbo's. We're early in last week. So, we got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and there's eight Eddie Marbos. Jody Clark's 2019, the lowest minted coin at the moment. And this is still coming hot and strong in Tasmania. No worries in Hobart for these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight. Stake coins. Got a couple of stake coins this week. Um, Australian Capital Territory, ACT. Nice one. It's a Tasmania, which is very easy to find in Tasmania. Um, just a bit of a high grade 2005. So, kept that for the moment. Um, nice 2016 changer, reasonably high grade. So I tend to keep them of high grade, about 4.5 million. So not one of the lowest minted, but I reckon they'll scratch up over time. So definitely a keeper for me at the moment, the odd one. The coin I cannot pronounce, so I'm not going to murder it. So I'm just not even going to bother trying. Found a few of these, probably five the most. So still a keeper for me. Um, to go with my 50 cent collection, it's a Fiji, 1981, so, yeah, my, I'll put a bit of a collection together. Alright, $1 coins, just a couple of Great Australian Coin Hunt Part 1, a couple of G's for G'day, in a very high grade, so that's the only reason they were keepers, high grade coins. Now, two dollar coins. Now, obviously, I did two dollar coins last night, but for those people that didn't watch my live, go back and watch the two dollar coin hunt live. Two Invictus Games, low mintage coin, 2018. Always keepers, tuck them away. Um. Women's Cricket, T20, so 2020 coins, three of those, one of my personal favourites, 2012 Poppy I believe, 2012 Gold Poppy, still finding them occasionally, still putting all of them away, I've never chucked one back into circulation, unless we forget. Pretty scruffy, so I may not keep it. Uh, let's grab a few more of these. So we got Blackboard, the Mr. Squiggle. Um, the Wallabies coin. Oh, I think we have two of those, I think. Yes. Two of those, a Wallaby coin. So a bit of colour finding its way into Tasmania. Commonwealth Games 2018 Commonwealth Games 2016 Commonwealth Games 2018 Okay, so we'll zip into some of the other finds Nice little Don Bradman Not a low mintage coin, but 
reasonably high grade, so good to make up a set. 2016 changeover, 20 cent piece. There's six of those there, so I tend to keep a few as I come across them. You don't always come across them. Stake, Centenary of Federation, stake coins. South Australia. Uh, nice Western Australia, I believe. Um, there's one I found in circulation. It's not meant to be in for circulation. Um, yeah, that's brilliant. I'm happy with that. I might do a video on all the ones that I have found that are not meant for circulation in this set. Uh, Centenary Federation is another one. And... Oh yeah, Northern Territory. Oh, that's a high mintage coin, but it was in high grade, so I kept it. Now, Tasmania. I found two Tasmanian coins. Centenary of Federation. Very hard coin for me to find. Don't find many of these. I've probably found four, five maybe, tops. Um, uh, South Australia. Centenary Federation, so I did really well on those. This one, a subscriber told me I missed. I actually missed it in a video. If you look back at the comments, it's a 95. They didn't make that coin in 95. They just come out in mid sets. So that'll go in my personal collection in 95. So thank you to that subscriber. You are a legend. Well spotted. Uh, volunteers making a difference. Nice looking coin, pretty high grade, so I picked up a couple of those. 2003, good for making sets. Heap of New Zealand coins this week, guys. I won't go for all of them, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 New Zealand coins of different dates. So I want to make a New Zealand set. 2019 Jody Clark. What have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 of those. <laughs> so no shortage of those. Another 50 cent piece, a Royal Visit. Just kept it because it was reasonably high grade, not too badly worn. Um, what else have we got? Oh yeah, Changeover. It was the lowest 5 cent piece, 2016. New Zealand, 2000. A uh, five cent piece, 1971. Uh, 1972 low mintage coin, 8.5 million, I believe. Always keep your 1972s. Uh, these are a couple of, uh, yeah, a couple of throwouts I found. This one made it way into my hands via the machine. Someone left the machine at one dime, United States. They've always got theirs around the other way, but. Uh, 2019, so it's a freebie. Another one that was in the coin leftover machine. A 10 pence. Uh, 92. And a New Zealand 50 cent piece. They shrunk their New Zealand coin down, didn't they? And a red... 20 cent piece, which has bit of, been a bit of a joke this week, a bit of an ongoing sort of joke. And would you believe yesterday's noodle? I found another one. So, is there a set? Let me know if you're in Tasmania and you've found more painted red coins. Alright, guys, well, that's it for my week in review. Hope you're all safe, hope you're all well. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Tassie Coin Hunter out. 
day, guys. Thank you for watching Tassie Coin Hunter. And remember, find a penny, pick it up, and all day long, you'll have good luck.